Greetings fellow adventurers, my name is Vithriahin and welcome to Ganondorf vs Dracula, Zelda vs Castlevania Death Battle. Ah, I really like Dracula as a character and he's inspired by somebody from my country, from Romania, so there is that. Vlad Dracula. But yeah, um, I, when it comes to Castlevania, I actually did not play the old ones. I never played the old Castlevania, uh, Castlevania games. I only played, I did play Lords or of shadow or whatever it was called uh like when i was young and if i remember correctly that game was awesome in every way possible like from the characters the world the cinematics the gameplay it was like i, I remember like really enjoying that game but it kind of faded from memory by now because it's been a long long time and when it comes to ganondorf I never played a Zelda game, I only know them by reputation, so I actually don't really know what he's capable of. So let us go and see. Let us go and see from both of them. Watch out! The bald spots could be coming soon! Oh no! No, no, not the bald spots! <laughs> oh, that's a real problem for so many people! Fame but here we go. Fleeting, and wealth ephemeral. But true evil never dies. It just comes back with a goddamn second health bar. Yes. Ganondorf, the calamitous demon king of Princess Zelda's Hyrule. It looks so goofy. I mean, just look at him. Like the bottom of his body looks so cool. And like, there's so many like little details. You know, the colors, the things, like the claws, the the abs. And then you see that face, and like, <laughs> that face. And Dracula, the Dracula looks so classy. Of Castlevania. Yeah, he's so he's classy. An boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death, a death battle. battle. Also, I never actually watched the uh, anime, because I know, yeah, there's like a, there's like an anime, right? With, oh yeah, there, what am I saying? There is, yeah, there, there's no question. There is an anime with Castlevania. I did not see that either. I want to though, I really want to. Millennia so who are we starting ago, with? In an age long past, the Demon King Demise threatened to pull the world into blood and war. Is this the uh, Ganondorf? Ass slapped by this pointy-eared boy in green. Oh. Undaunted <laughs> by being, you know, murdered, Demise cursed the blood of the goddess and the spirit of the hero to be forever haunted by his wrath made flesh. That curse became Ganondorf Dragmire. So Ganondorf is actually a curse, they like, call, uh, you know, personified. He's basically like, you know, a curse in the flesh. That is so interesting. Good old Dorf was born to the Gerudo tribe of the desert. Thing is, the Gerudo were all ladies and Ganondorf was the first male born in a hundred years, which oh. automatically made him their king. Because... Oh, that's how it works? Reasons, I guess? Wait, wait, <laughs> so he gets to be in charge and has the best odds on Tinder? <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. I've been born in a place with only women, and they just make you king. It's my dream come true. Who could want more? <laughs> Ganondorf could. Jealous of the neighboring kingdom of Hyrule. Okay, wait a second. It kind of just like took me a second to process something. What is Link wearing there? I like. I know Zelda is like the princess, and Link is the hero. What is Link wearing there? What the heck is that outfit? Who could want more? Ganondorf could. Jealous of the neighboring kingdom of Hyrule's verdant fields, clean water, and not being a godforsaken desert, he dreamed of a better world for his people. Or, uh -huh. you know, just for himself. Being the reincarnation of ultimate evil means you're probably kind of a selfish douche. And surprisingly, his vile ambitions would be rewarded. Oh, with the power of the Triforce, Ganondorf has turned Hyrule into a world of utter darkness and evil. Turns out, he was also preternaturally adept at magic, as oh. befits an education from his caretakers, the witches Kaume and Kotake. From them, Dorf what? learned to pitch no. balls of electricity. Okay, wait, what the heck am I looking at here? What is, the witches what is this? And Kotake. What are these witches? I can't even tell what I'm looking at. What it, What are these supposed to be? Birds? They look like birds or something. They have like beaks or something, but they look at those eyeballs. Imagine those staring at you like at 3 a.m. just on the top of your ceiling. From them, Dorf learned to pitch balls of electricity. Oh, Ganon also possesses the same powers as Aga, whatever, uh, and Zant. Aga, him was an alter ego of his, and much of 
Zen's power was gifted to him by Ganon. Summon lightning, move objects with telekinesis, levitate, form barriers, and control minds. He has a lot when of powers. When he wishes to fight from a distance, he can create phantom horsemen or puppets of himself to battle as his proxies. Yeah, quite a lot or of powers. Or if he wants to get personal, he can use his dark magic to enhance his physical strikes, making him a badass at all ranges. He's a master with a blade, sometimes two, and sometimes on horseback. I'm surprised, actually, by how many... Like, I, I don't know why, when I thought of, like, this guy from, like, Reputation, I really thought it was just gonna be, like, a big boss, you know, basically, like, a huge character that you have to fight through some, like, weird stages, and not just an actual normal-sized guy that you just fight normally. This is, like, weird to me. Also, like, him also gonna getting up and close, you know, personal with a sword and stuff like that. He's really not what I expected at all. And sometimes two swords on two horsebacks? Whoa. Let's not get crazy. He was <laughs> just a man, after all, though not for long. With his magical training complete, Ganondorf put his greatest skill to the test, his raw cunning. By manipulating the rulers of Hyrule and its neighboring domains, as well as a curiously familiar boy in green. Hey, what do you know? Weird coincidence. Ganondorf gained entry to an alternate dimension called the Sacred Realm. Within it wow, lay the what Triforce, a, name. a magical artifact left by the gods said to grant the wish of whomever touches it. The perfect solution oh, what to did all he your world conquering needs. What did he wish for? Except once Ganondorf got his hands on those golden Doritos, two of them jumped ship. See, only someone what? with a perfect balance of courage, wisdom, and power. Oh, so that oh, so he only took one, I guess, power maybe or wisdom. I don't know. One, probably one of those. Uh, I do not know. I feel like courage. Maybe, maybe not courage. I feel like courage is not the one. So yeah, maybe wisdom too. I don't know. Anyway, so that's how it works. Also, there's a okay. If if anybody like uh, listens to like power metal and stuff, there is this band called Dragon Force. I'm pretty sure most people know about it. At least a lot of people. And they, they are releasing a new album, like, uh, in March. And they already released one of the songs, and it's about Zelda. It's called Power of the Triforce. And, well, I'm getting a bit of context about some of those lyrics in that song now, thanks to this. ...can wield the complete Triforce. If someone with an imbalance between those three virtues touches it, it splits. In this case, the pieces of wisdom and courage went to Ganondorf's enemies. Ah, so I was right the first time when I said it's power that is the correct one. Princess Zelda and the Kick hero Link. Ah, oh, that's embarrassing. So what, did, did Zelda get wisdom and did Link get like courage or what? But he did get to keep the Triforce of power because who needs the courage and wisdom shit when you can just blow stuff up? <laughs> <laughs> Even on its own, the Triforce of power radically improved Ganondorf's strength and magical prowess, while also elevating him from a mere warlock to the demon king he was always meant to be. Oh, there we go. That's what I expected. Literally, a big creature for some reason. Blue pig monster. The what? dark beast known simply as Ganon is a nearly unstoppable terror, gaining even greater strength without sacrificing any of his intellect. Yeah, but. I don't know, like, there's this thing for some reason, whenever I see a giant creature, for some reason, I see that as less scary than somebody who's supposed to be, like, the ultimate, like, evil in a humanoid shape. I don't know why, like, whenever they are small and powerful, for some reason, they feel scarier to me than just this. As a bacon wizard, he can obliterate foes with fireballs, turn invisible, teleport, summon darkness, and even distort the space around him. Despite all that power and even successfully ruling Hyrule for seven years, Ganondorf seven years. was That's not soundly defeated and sealed within the sacred realm. There he remained, trapped outside the spaces of reality, a prisoner to the void between space and time, never to return ever, ever again. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah. I didn't keep a straight face. Like yeah, that's whatever no, happened. He got out like the next day. So nothing holds Ganon back for long, and he's insanely tough to kill. In fact, thanks to his part of the Triforce, he's almost indestructible. While most weapons can technically harm him, it usually takes a holy weapon like the Master Sword. Oh, weapons like the Master Sword and Silver Arrows are usually required for the killing blow except in the Oracle games, whatever that means. Or Light Arrows to put him down. He once survived being crushed within his own castle, which, based on its size and composition here, and accounting for the hollowed out interior, should weigh over 11,000 tons. That is a ton Even of tons! Even better, he later withstood a different castle exploding around him! 
guy has a problem with castles falling on him for some reason. Wow, some of this guy in castles. Yeah. By measuring the size of the in-game castle model and assuming violent fragmentation, we can determine it was a blast worth almost two kilotons of TNT, a yield uh -huh. comparable to early atomic bombs. And even though holy weapons can bypass his defenses, he still survived being stabbed in the face with the master sword. You know, the literal blade of evil's bane. How does that work in the face? It or like uh -huh. when he was impaled through the chest by Did one of the, the brain? sages after he was supposedly sealed away. He just yanked that shit right out and murdered the best bastards that did it to him. Did he say bastards? Did did Boomstick just say bastards? Did they just say the what? Uh, I forgot. I forgot the name of the guy for some reason. You know, the DC guy who says that. What was his name? Lobo. I remember. Uh, heads up, Wiz. You ever stabbed his me again? And that's what's happening to you. Right. <laughs> well, Ganondorf isn't just tough. He's powerful enough to punch shockwaves, tear up an island, and block out the sky with his magical malice. Plus, he Whoa. can keep up with Link. He's even killed him in one timeline. And this he, very he killed boy the can hero. dodge Beemos lasers. He killed. He killed a hero in one of the timelines? Damn! Which are literal lasers. They move in a straight line, burn instead of exploding, and according to the game's guidebook, are called lasers. So they should move at light speed. Based on the distance Link moved relative to this beam, we can estimate his own reaction speed to be about 11% the speed of light. Uh -huh. Too bad old Dorf Lundgren doesn't get to hold on to Hyrule for too long. Still, you can stab and seal him away all you want. This big pork bastard will always be back to bring about your crispy demise. <laughs> he reminds me of Unicron in that sense. Okay, Unicron goes in another universe though, it's not the same, but still. You can't get rid of him! You cannot get rid of this bastard. In the world of Castlevania, the universe is governed by two opposing forces. Order Light and darkness. And chaos. Oh. I mean, hey, uh, it's like never me mind. <laughs> no, I mean literally. As legend goes, for God to be good, there must be an equal force of evil to create balance. An evil found in an alternate dimension called the chaotic realm. This is chaos. But to keep his spot in the balance on Earth, Chaos needed to choose a Dark Lord to represent him. A Dark Messiah, if you will. As luck would have it, a perfect candidate would end up choosing him. In the 11th century, Matthias Kronkvist was the strategic mastermind behind a company of knights, alongside fellow commander and best friend, Leon Belmont. Oh, okay. I don't know what story we are following with this. Like, what is this? This looks like a game, but I don't know what game this is. Because I thought the only single 3D games for Castlevania were the Lords of Shadows one. Ones, I mean. You know, that series. I think it's three games. I think there's like a... Also another one that's kind of like a different style and name, but it's still kind of the same, like, universe. I, I don't know. So what is... What am I looking at now? Like, what is this? But as with most bromances, it got screwed up by a homance. Boomstick, have some tact. His wife died from a horrible illness. Was it third wheeling? <laughs> I'm Boomstick, sorry, Wiz, but you can already what? tell this guy is evil because his name is Math. I mean, I know we use Math all the time to do the show, but sometimes one must embrace the darkness to see the light. Right. Yeah. Anyway, Matthias's grief was so intense, he swore vengeance on God himself. To achieve his vengeance, Matthias sought the powers of God's polar opposite. Chaos. So he set up an easy six-step plan. Uh, step one, pick up a red rock called the Crimson Stone. It'll be important later. Boomstick, your glasses seem to be a bit broken. Later. Step two, force death itself to become your personal Skeletor. secretary. <laughs> Step three, kill Luigi. Step four, convince what? a vampire named Walter to kill Leon's fiance. Cause what is happening? Company. Step what five, I'm going with Leon what the heck? murder poor Walt and have death shove his soul into that red rug. Step six, congratulations, you are now a vampire. What the heck? So wait, the original Dracula is not the same as... The Lords of the Shadows one. Oh. Got kids, I hope you were paying attention. So it's not From just different day it's forth, Matthias just different iterations. He became it is a different vampire characters altogether. More. He was the Dark Lord, Dracula. There have been a lot of different versions of Dracula over Oh look at it's Alucard. You can see Alucard there too from uh, Helsing. <laughs> I love like whenever he became like Dracula, that was so damn good. I love that. For the years. 
Also, I'm still shocked that you're, you're not showing the Castlevania Lords of Shadow one, Shadows, whatever it was. Ah, I don't remember the exact name, but I'm shocked you, you like you don't show that one. I ah damn, I love that one so much. But this one isn't your run-of-the-mill event to suck your blood type. This Dracula is the avatar of chaos on Earth, the opposite to God. So like the devil, he. He's basically the devil. He didn't oh. have much time to enjoy his new powers, though, as his former friend Leon swore revenge, a vow which would carry on throughout generations. But good luck taking down this all new and improved vampire lord. He's got your standard vampire loadout like blood sucking, flight, razor sharp claws, telekinesis, and so even have all the default stuff? teleportation. He can oh. also exert his influence over all living things, whether it be mind control, body possession, or absorbing the souls and abilities of fallen enemies through his power of dominance. Uh, that like sounds Kirby, like a video game a system. Demonic monster Kirby. Right. Kirby. Also, Dracula uh, can yeah, that works. to his black heart's desire, like into a swarm of bats, a cloud of mist, and a wolf. Oh, I get it. The opposite to God, because he's a dog just like the way Alucard is Dracula backwards. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. God, I should do science. God, dog, He's also yeah. a master sorcerer, <laughs> able to summon fireballs, meteors, and acid blood rain from the sky. Dark Inferno is a huge ball of magma that will fry anything in its path, and he can revitalize himself with another's life energy via soul steel. Yeah, I need to watch this anime, it looks so good. Attack, a localized nuke of holy magic, the demonic Megiddo. With all these powers, it's no wonder Europe trembled at his presence for centuries, though perhaps their fears were unfounded. Yeah, despite being living chaos or whatever, Dracula was sometimes a pretty chill guy. He even got himself married and had a kid. Then again, he did? kids are also the embodiment of chaos. Sadly. <laughs> I can agree on that one, Def definitely. I can agree on that one entirely, yes. Please, the people of a nearby church grew suspect of his wife, accusing her of witchcraft. So they burned her at the stake, and Dracula swore Whoa. vengeance upon the god they followed as- Wait, 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 wait. Did he just get a total repeat of his backstory? Yeah, that's what I wanted to say too. Like, what? Again? Just this- what? Man, this guy can't catch a break. He was even forced to battle multiple descendants of Belmont, many of whom would actually defeat him. Well, sort of. Turns out Dracula is a much tougher vampire to kill than lame old Walter. Even after losing his entire body, Dracula's soul remained tethered to chaos. Thus, he would be resurrected every 100 years. Every... There's also... Okay, this is kind of funny. This is kind of like crazy funny to me because um, I talked before on the Ganondorf section about how Dragon Force released a song about Zelda. And at the same time, the singer of Dragon Force also released solo, not with Dragon Force, but like solo, a Castlevania song called Dracula X. And in that one, it also talks about how he comes back like every hundred years or something like that. <laughs> it's kind of funny that, you know, that guy sang the two songs with two characters that happen in this dead battle. When he wants to go all out, he can draw from the power of the chaotic realm and transform into one of many awesome monsters. Like a giant demon, a giant Whoa. demon bird, a giant... A, a lot of giant things, huh? Demon head and a giant demon head. Giant demon, lots of things, lots of giant demon things, huh? A painting that vomits out bats. <laughs> Dracula can punch hard enough to rend stone, move quick enough to catch arrows out of thin air, and even warp the fabric of reality itself. He's tough enough to survive a lightning strike, get blasted by an enormous meteor, and even get crushed under the weight of his Wait. fortress. Why does this keep happening <laughs> to like to, to these bad guys? Why 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 do they why do they I cannot speak? Why do their castles keep falling on them? What is happening? Well, Dracula escaped the castle ruins by turning him to mist. He only did so after the castle had fallen. AKA the Castlevania. <laughs> by measuring the size of Castlevania on the game's official art, we know it should weigh around two million tons. Even then, That's a big Dracula number. has regenerated his body from decapitation, a mess of blood, and even full-on disintegration. So how do you kill him? Like, I mean, they said he was killed by some of Belmont's descendants. So how did they kill him then? So how the hell does he keep getting killed by everyone from Discount Conan to the Ghost of Weeb's past? That's what I'm saying! Gosh. What the? What the? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? With the help of holy weapons, which Dracula is certainly not a fan of. Awesome. But I mean, that's... 
what Ganondorf is weak to as well, so I don't think he would be using that himself. I think none of them has that to use against the other. So even when he's turned his body into some misty vape clouds, he keeps his head vulnerable because video games. Or more yeah. precisely, his hubris. Dracula's blatant arrogance would lead to his ultimate downfall, allowing his enemies to sever his connection to the chaotic realm and thus end his cycle of resurrections. So instead, he was reincarnated into a white-haired anime boy with the power of friendship. What? Soma Cruz. Who, what? Who turned out to be just as powerful as Dracula Classic, like when he dodged beams of light or when he defeated chaos itself. This look like very old games, so I guess it, they, they are kind of bonkers. Dracula's influence and power would never truly end. Even 10,000 years into the future, his bloodline continues to strike terror into the hearts of men. As long <laughs> as good and evil exist. Hold up, that's his kid? What the hell happened to him? Actually, yeah, I've seen this guy before on the internet too. Like that's, he looks so, hmm, different. Ahem, no ordinary man can stand up to the incredible force that is the Dark Lord Dracula. Behold my true form and Whoa. That's a, that's also a weird voice for Dracula. <laughs> Oh, are we going into all it finally? Right, the combatants are set, and we've run yes, the data through all possibilities. But first, all this talk of pigs and bacon has made me hungry for No! I don't need Ray Print. Like no Come on, let me hear it. But right now, oh, let me hear it, let me hear it. It's time for a death, death battle. battle! Yeah, that's what I'm here for. Let's see how this going to be. Oh, the, the atmosphere is certainly very cool already. Look at this. The moon in the sky. The darkness, the mist. Oh, it's 3D, actually. It's not gonna be... Pic I thought it was gonna be pixelated because of the Castlevania games being pixelated. But no, we are going full 3D, actually. It's Your like an end-of-season thing or something. No man can challenge my power. <laughs> He's no mere man. What is a man? A miserable pile of secrets. Oh. <sighs> They certainly made Dracula look quite fancy there. I'm no mere man. None of you are. <laughs> Did you see that the way he brushed off the dust? <laughs> I love his attitude. He seems cocky and funny. This is not gonna do anything, yeah. <laughs> but how can like how can one kill the other in the end? That's the that's the thing. Because they both can survive quite a lot Your tricks mean nothing. Are they sure they mean nothing? They seem to be kind of a You know Acting like they mean a bit of something A little tiny speck of something, you know what I mean? Just a little bit of something something Dracula is certainly menacing though I'll give him that and his hair is freaking, is freaking out as well <laughs> Oh, the Triforce? The Triforce! The part of the Triforce! He's, he's glowing! He's, he looks so celestial and weird now! I love it! Lightning attacks! So many of them! But yeah, he seems to be... Kind of be, like, able to just avoid or throw back most of the attacks. Ganondorf is throwing! That's not, that's not enough. Damn, this, okay, this scene that just happened right now, I had to pause because that scene reminds me of Helsing Abridged, if you've ever seen that one. That scene where uh, Alexander, or whatever his name, Anderson, Anderson was like, uh, I killed Dracula, woohoo! And then Integra was like, uh, that, yeah, I, no, 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 she was like, how? Or something like that. And he was like, I chopped his bloody head off. And then Integra was something like, oh, that's step one. What about the two through ten? <laughs> This is not gonna be enough. Like, yeah, we already know that. Oh, just gonna morph. He just morphed. He morphed. But I mean, can he transform as well? I mean, he can, he can also transform, right? So, like, why wouldn't he? 
Oh yeah, there we go. Oh the way. Uh. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. I thought for a second Dracula's transformation was him. I was confused. So now it's a giant goat demon against a giant bat demon. A lot of giant demons, as I said before. But which one is better? Is the question. I mean, I would put my stakes on a goat demon over a bat demon per se. But I do want Dracula to win, if I'm being honest here. Yeah, what? <laughs> yes, come on, win, Dracula. You are the one I'm staking my odds on. Win! Oh? Wait, is the part of the Triforce burning? That's a big explosion. He just went nuclear. Oh, oh wait, he's back to his normal, like, human form. Okay, human, whatever. Duh, you know what I mean. A pig! <laughs> okay, that's kind of a good one, actually. Is, is it over, though? It's not over, right? Or is it actually over? Wait, oh, it's over? He's drinking his blood and he's like chopped in half. I think it's over. It's over! Oh, yes, Dracula uh, won! Woohoo! You know, I hope someday I can learn to drink beers as violently as Dracula drinks people. There yeah, go for it, Boomstick. Going on That's, here. Yeah. Both Ganondorf and Dracula show similar reaction speeds with only a small percent difference when compared to the speed of light. They were both brilliant schemers who have perfectly manipulated many intelligent foes, and their standard magical arsenals seem pretty comparable overall. But Dracula did have a leg up with a few extra magic powers that Ganondorf just didn't have. Like how he could rip out his soul in a bunch of different ways. That's something Ganondorf never really had to guard against before. Also, remember how Ganondorf survived an explosion worth about two kilotons of TNT? That is less than Dracula. Fate, to be sure, but let's look at that meteor strike Dracula survived. Based it's on its meteor. size, composition, and speed of ablation, it must have struck with an energy equivalent to two megatons of TNT. One big thousand number. times greater than Ganondorf's proven durability. But hey, I know what you're thinking. What about that sage sword Ganondorf had? Shouldn't he have had an easy time killing Drax since it's a holy weapon? Oh, but he has a holy weapon, actually. Sure, running this fight over and over a hundred times, Ganondorf would certainly score a few victories. But when considering Dracula's absurd regenerative abilities... Wait, both Ganon and Demise have had their non-physical beings sealed away in alternate dimensions or objects. This lends... I mean, this... Yeah, this lends uh, credence to the possibility of Dracula being able to manipulate and seal Ganon's soul. It would take more than just a few hits from a holy weapon to finish him off. Not to mention, Dracula also wielded a holy weapon that took advantage of Ganondorf's weakness in the form of Demonic Megiddo. Yeah, I know it's called Demonic, so it seems weird, but it is explicitly described to be holy magic. Oh. And dropping a holy new gun, Ganondorf was a way more powerful what? victory move than trying to hit Dracula with a sword. And that's really what this came down to, power. Despite literally wielding the Triforce of Power, Ganondorf's potential paled in comparison to the energy Dracula drew from Chaos. The Triforce of Power has been overpowered before, such as in the original Legend of Zelda and in Twilight Princess, while Dracula's greater power and ability to exploit Ganon's greatest weakness uh, he certainly could do the same. Let's put this in perspective. I mean, the wait. Triforce of Power comes from the goddess Din, who made the Earth. While we don't know the exact amount of power Din put in this piece, let's just highball it and directly compare it to her. So the energy attributed to the Triforce of Power could be compared to the size and energy of a planet. However, the Chaotic Realm is an entire universe. Why is that? There's so much, like, thing, like, the uh, black, like, black, uh, black background, like, text to read. Even if the golden goddess's powers were far greater, Ganon only possessed a fraction of it. It took the entire Triforce to maintain the alternate dimension of low rule. Uh, and even then, only for a limited time, there is no evidence that the Triforce of Power could match the Chaotic Realm. Completely upheld by the power of the Chaos Entity. That is leagues greater than the power Ganondorf possessed. So it definitely had a lot more juice to give. Try thinking of oh, wait, the Chaotic Realm and the Triforce of Power as batteries, which fuel Dracula not. and Ganon's abilities. 
compared to each other, I it was Dracula a bull. would be drawing energy from something like a car battery, while Ganondorf would both. be more akin to a small double A. Wiz, I'll give you five bucks if you lick that battery. Ganondorf <laughs> certainly held his own, but Dracula's more varied magic, greater regeneration, and enormous reserves of power sealed this desert warlock's fate. Of all the ways to go, that must have sucked. The big pig's chances <laughs> were no, slim the vampire puns. to get none. The winner no, is Dracula. No, not again on puns as well. We have puns for everybody. We have puns for everybody. Nobody's left out. Dueling game. Choose your weapons, one. armor, and... I, okay, I don't care about that one. Next time, I don't care about this either. I've seen that one. I've already reacted to that one. I've already reacted to that one. So yeah. Huh. I, I, I don't know why I'm somewhat disappointed in, like, that I did not get to see... Lords of Shadow. Oh, I, 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 I really wish like, they, they would at least make a reference to that game in some kind of way. But I mean, I guess it's just like the character is very different. In that one, you play as Gabriel Belmont, which kind of weird to me. Now that I know the like the actual, like uh, you know, Dracula lore. If this is actually you not know, the official main one, kind of weird. But I still, I still think that's my favorite version of him because he starts. Okay, spoilers here. He starts as an actual, you know, soldier of God. He starts as an actual good guy, the hero of the story. He uses holy power. He uses, like, he looks normal. Like, a, he looks cool, actually. I love, like, the way he looks in the first game when he's normal, not Dracula yet. I like that the most. And, like, the journey in the first game, like, from what I remember of it, was one of my favorite things ever. Like story-wise and cinematic-wise and locations-wise and everything. It was so damn good. And because of that... Uh, yeah, I really like that. Like, going from being the, the hero to becoming the villain. That was interesting. Anyway, that was this. It was good. I really enjoyed, like, the battle, the 3D and stuff. The animation was very good. And I know more about uh, these characters now. So thank you for watching this video, and if you enjoyed watching this video, punch the like button with everything you have, and have a great day or night. But for now, farewell, and bye bye.